Hello again and welcome back for more English practice. This is English practice for beginner levels who are learning English. Uh, it's for children, for adults, and today we are talking about conjunctions. So I'm going to show you the lesson. We'll pull that up for you right now. Here we go. Conjunctions. The three conjunctions we want to look at today are the words and, but, and or. We can use conjunctions to put together ideas or sentences. So if I have two sentences, I like apples, I like oranges, the word I like, the words I like, are in both sentences. I can put the sentences together using the word and. I like apples and oranges. Then I am not repeating I like, I like. Let's look at more examples. Oranges are fruit. Apples are fruit. Oranges has a capital O, a big O. Apples has a capital A. At the beginning of every sentence, the first word has a capital letter. We'll see that our fruit, oranges are fruit, it's plural, I need the word are, fruit. And you do see the period, oranges are fruit, period. It's the little dot at the end of a sentence. When I'm reading and I see the period, I know that idea or that sentence is finished. It is the end of a sentence. Apples are fruit. Uh, again, apples is plural. I can't speak English today. <laughs> I need practice. Apples are fruit. Apples are plural. And the sentence, apples are fruit, finishes with a period. When I put the sentences together, I add apples and oranges. And I keep the parts of the sentence that are the same, are fruit. Oranges and apples are fruit. My first word needs a capital letter. I have a capital O, the big O, to begin my sentence. Okay, apples is no longer the first word in a sentence. It does not need a capital letter. I use the words are fruit, and I finish my sentence with the period, with the dot. Use and to put the two sentences together. Okay, let's look. I like apples and bananas. I like apples. I like bananas. I can bring them together. I like apples and bananas. She buys. She buys apples. She buys bananas. Come together. She buys apples and bananas. Now we have a picture of fruit and vegetables. I eat fruit, <coughs> excuse me, I eat vegetables together. I eat fruit and vegetables. Please see the, the word I is a capital I and the sentence is finished with a period. She needs, she needs fruit, she needs vegetables. Together, 
She needs fruit and vegetables. Fruit is good. Vegetables are good. Fruit and vegetables are good. Please notice fruit is un, uh, uncountable. It is a singular word. I use the word is with fruit. Okay. Vegetables is plural. I need the word are good. When I bring the sentences together, do I need is? Do I need are? I now am talking about two things. I am talking about fruit and vegetables. I will use the word are because two is plural. Fruit and vegetables are good. We have milk and eggs. Bob needs milk and eggs. There is milk in the fridge. There are eggs in the fridge. There are milk and eggs in the fridge. Again, milk is uncountable. It is a singular word. There is milk in the fridge. Eggs are plural. There are eggs. When I bring the sentences together, I am now speaking about two things. Milk, eggs. This is plural. I will use there are milk and eggs in the fridge. Okay? Milk does not become plural. There is no S on milk, but eggs was plural and it needs to be plural in the new together sentence. Hmm. Put. The verb is put. Okay? Put the chips and pop in the cart. Put the chips and pop in the cart. I have two items that need to go in the cart. I can use the word and. I could also say put the chips in the cart. Put the pop in the cart. But it's shorter to say put the chips and pop in the cart. Again, the word, uh, the verb is put. Put the bread and fish in the cart. Put the bread and fish in the cart. I see a picture of the kitchen. The kitchen is the room in the house where we put food, we cook food, we make coffee and tea. Put the cake and muffins in the kitchen. Put the cake in the kitchen. Put the muffins in the kitchen. Together, put the cake and muffins in the kitchen. He is eating hot dogs and fries. He is eating hot dogs and fries. I can say a hot dog. He is eating a hot dog and fries. No problem. Uh, or I can say he's eating hot dogs and fries. He is eating hot dogs. He is eating fries. Together, he is eating hot dogs and fries. She is shopping at Walmart and Superstore. She is shopping at 
Walmart, and Superstore. Use and to connect many items in a sentence. So we have practiced putting two items together in a sentence. But if I have a small shopping list, I can use the word and to speak about many items or many foods in one sentence. We need potatoes, comma, milk, comma, eggs, comma, and bread. I can say we need potatoes and milk and eggs and bread. The comma is used so I do not say and again and again and again. It's shorter to use a comma. When I'm speaking, I will have a small stop um, where the comma is. We need potatoes, milk, eggs, and bread. If I have a small stop, my listener can hear my list. It's easy listening. Uh, so when we're writing, we use the comma. When we speak, we have a small stop. We need potatoes, milk, eggs, and bread. The and comes before the last item. We need apples, oranges, milk, eggs, meat, and bread. She needs vegetables. He needs cheese and cake. If I don't speak thinking about a comma or a period, please hear what this sounds like. We need apples, oranges, milk, eggs, meat, and bread. She needs vegetables. He needs cheese and cake. It's very difficult to hear all the words. When I see a period, I have a bigger stop. When I see a comma, I have a small stop. It helps the listener hear the English words. We need apples, oranges, milk, eggs, meat, and bread. She needs vegetables. He needs cheese and cake. These are three different ideas. We are speaking about what we need. We. We are speaking about what she needs. And third, we are speaking about what he needs. I need to stop after each sentence. Please listen with the commas and periods. We need apples, oranges, milk, eggs, meat, and bread. She needs vegetables. He needs cheese and cake. When I pause and have small stops and bigger stops, you can hear what I am saying. More and. Her sweater is gray and blue. His sweater is blue, red, green, black, and yellow. The dog is black, white, and brown. I don't always need a comma after the second last uh, item, okay? The dog is black, white, and brown. I can use a comma after white, 
But usually if I only have a few words, two or three words, I don't need the comma before the word and. If you use the comma, it's okay. Many English speakers do, but if you don't, that's okay too. And that is a beautiful dog. We are buying carrots, celery, lettuce, and peppers. See here there is a comma before and. It's okay, especially if you are using four or more items in one sentence. If your list is bigger, sure, put the comma before and. If it's a short list of two or three items, you don't really need the comma. My favorite snacks are ice cream, cupcakes, and chocolate. The second conjunction we want to talk about today is the word but. We use the word but to bring together two different things, okay? Um, so my two small sentences here would be, I like carrots, I don't like broccoli. Together, I like carrots, but I don't like broccoli. I like carrots, but I don't like broccoli. When I hear the word but, I know that things are not the same, they're different. I like, I don't like. It's different. They are not the same. I like chicken, but I don't like beef. I like chicken. I don't like beef. Together, I will use the word but. When my listener hears but, they know it's different. I like chicken, but I don't like beef. I like chicken, I don't like beef. They are not the same, they are different. He walks to the supermarket, but he doesn't take the bus. So here we're talking about two different things, okay? Walking and taking the bus. And there is a negative. Please, let's go back to the first one. And you're going to see, I like, I don't like. When I use but, there will be a negative. A negative, okay, don't like. I like chicken, but I don't like beef. He walks to the supermarket, but he doesn't take the bus, okay? Um, he goes to the supermarket, he walks. He does not go taking the bus. So we have two differences. We have walking and taking the bus. We also have a going, a positive walking, and a not going on the bus. So there's a positive of going and a negative of going. Every Monday, Bill goes to the supermarket, but he doesn't go to the bank. Supermarket and bank are different. Also, he goes to the supermarket and he doesn't go to the bank. There is a negative after the but. Every Monday, Bill goes to the supermarket, but he doesn't go to the bank. Our third conjunction is the word or. We use or when there's two choices, but only one good answer. 
we use or with two negatives. Or, or, <laughs> we use or when there is a question. <laughs> I'm using or right now. And that's because there are three times I use or. But every time I use or, it's one of these three situations. It's one of three possibilities. Do you like winter or summer? Okay. Uh, winter or summer? I like summer. I like summer. I am choosing one answer. Do you like winter or summer? Mm, I like summer. Okay. Maybe you like both too. Maybe you like winter and summer. That's your answer. I like winter and summer. Okay. I like winter. I like summer. I bring them together with and. But in a question with or, usually I will choose one good answer. Let's practice. Do you want a hot or a cold drink? There is one answer. Do you want a hot or cold drink? Coffee, please. I want a hot drink. I am choosing one good answer. I can pay for a new car or a new house. I cannot pay for a new car and a new house. I don't have that much money. So I need to make a choice. What would you choose? A car or a new house? For me, I choose the house. I will buy the house first. And then maybe five years in the future, I can pay for a new car then. I can pay for a new car or a new house. I need to choose one answer. I shop at Superstore or Walmart, but not Costco. Remember to use the word but, I will have a negative. This sentence means, well, sometimes I go to Walmart. Other times I go to Superstore. I do not go to Costco. Okay, so if I am to go shopping, I will choose Superstore or Walmart. I will go to one store, but not Costco. I do not go to Costco. Do you like coffee or tea? Coffee, tea. You have one choice. <laughs> what is your answer? <laughs> Many of my students like tea. I like tea. Uh, actually, for me, tea is okay, but I really like coffee. I would choose coffee. Many of you choose tea. We don't need eggs or milk. We don't need eggs or milk. I have a negative. Okay. I don't need eggs and I don't need milk. When I bring them together and it's negative, I will use the word or always. I don't really say, we don't need eggs and milk. It's more common to say, we don't need eggs or milk. Because of the negative, I will use or. When there's a negative, only a negative, one negative, I use or. Really here, I have two negatives, right? I don't need eggs 
I don't need milk. Two negatives use or. This sentence is we. We don't need eggs. We don't need milk. We don't need milk or eggs. And is a so-so answer. You will not hear people say, we don't need eggs and milk. When there's two negatives, we use or. I don't like coffee or tea. I don't like coffee or tea. I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. I don't like coffee or tea. When there are two negatives, I use or. Remember, I use and for two positives. I like coffee. I like tea. I like coffee and tea. For don't like, my two negatives, I will use or. I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. I don't like coffee or tea. Let's look at this example. I can see the doctor on Tuesday or Friday. There are two choices, okay? I can see the doctor on Tuesday. I can see the doctor on Friday. It's a choice. I will choose one. Uh, many times, if I call my doctor, they ask, when can you come to the doctor? What day can you come? I can say, I can come Tuesday. I can come Friday. I can, but, but not both. I do not need to go to the doctor on Tuesday and Friday. I mean, choose one. Choose one. Your appointment is Friday at 9 a.m. I can see the doctor on Tuesday or Friday. Hmm, okay, your appointment is Friday at 9 a.m. There's one answer, one choice. I have two negatives. I don't like studying. I don't like working. I don't like studying or working. Two negatives, we use or. Is he wearing a red sweater or a yellow sweater? Is he wearing a red sweater or a yellow sweater? I have a question and there is one answer. Okay? In a question with one answer and two choices, I use the word or. There's a question, is he? And I have two choices, red or yellow. Is he wearing a red sweater? Is he wearing a yellow sweater? A question, two choices, one answer, I use or. Is he wearing a red sweater or a yellow sweater? So to wrap it up, to review, we use the word and for two ideas that are the same. I like coffee, I like tea, I like coffee and tea. We use the word and, the end of a list. I like coffee, tea, milk, and juice. And for things that are positive, I like is a positive. I don't like is a negative. We use uh, and for the positives. And if there is a negative, I will use but, maybe or. I use the word but for two different ideas. I like coffee, but I don't like tea. There's one negative and it's like, don't like. They're different. I use the word or when there are two choices and one good answer. Is he wearing a yellow sweater or a red sweater? There's one answer.
do you like coffee or tea? When I have a question, I will use or. <laughs> Very often when there are two choices in a question, we use the word or. And when there are two negatives, I don't like coffee or tea. I don't like coffee or tea. So now we're going to do some practice. Okay, you're going to read and write the sentences. You need to choose the correct word. Um, the first group of sentences you will choose and, but. What is the word you need in the sentence? For example, I like coffee and but tea. Hmm. I like coffee. I like tea. I like coffee and tea. There is no negative. I do not use but. I like coffee and tea. I'm going to show you the questions. I'd like you to write the sentence in your notebook. Use your pen and paper. Practice writing the English words um, and choose the right word to complete the sentence. I am not going to read the sentences for you now. I want you to read the sentences. I think you know all the words. It should be Okay, please stop the video to write in your notebook. Stop the video. Stop the video and write. Stop the video, write. Stop the video, write. Stop the video, write. Right. Stop. Here are the answers. You can stop the video and check. Did you use the word but in number one? I also have the correct sentences here. And I want you to practice speaking here. You can check your answers, but then 
watch this part of the video again to practice speaking. Okay, I'll say the sentence. I'd like you to repeat it. I like apples, but I don't like oranges. I shop at Superstore and Walmart. She walks to school in the morning and takes the bus home in the afternoon. She's going, going to school and going home. Going is the same. I can use the word and. Or a different answer. She walks to school in the morning, but takes the bus. That does not say bus. Ah, we need to correct that now. That is a problem. There we go. We're back in business. Okay. Better. She walks to school in the morning, but takes the bus home in the afternoon. We use the word but because walking is different than taking the bus. He drinks tea and juice every morning. He drinks tea and juice every morning. He speaks English at home and Turkish at work. He speaks English. He speaks Turkish. Those are the same, speaking. So I can use the word and. Uh, and so I can read this. He speaks English at home and speaks Turkish at work. Speaking and speaking is the same. I can use the word and. Or a different choice. He speaks English at home, but Turkish at work. English and Turkish are different. I can also use the word but. Both sentences are great English. They go to the library, but not to the park. They go to the library, but not to the park. I have one positive and one negative. I need but. We eat spaghetti on Fridays, but not on Sundays. I practice English on Monday nights but on Tuesday nights, I don't study. I study on Mondays. I don't study on Tuesdays. I need but. I practice English on Monday nights. But on Tuesday nights, I don't study. She likes to shop but she doesn't have any money. Ooh. She likes to shop, but she doesn't have any money. My son reads in the morning and watches TV in the afternoon. Okay, In the morning and afternoon, my son is doing. I can use the word and. Or a different sentence. My son reads in the morning, but watches TV in the afternoon. They're different. He reads and watches. Different. I can use but. In the mornings, Mary drinks coffee and 
orange juice. In the mornings, Mary drinks coffee and orange juice. I speak Spanish and a little English. I speak Spanish. I speak a little English. I speak Spanish and a little English. John and David shop on Saturdays, but not on Sundays. Saturdays, yes. Sundays is no. I use but. John and David shop on Saturdays, but not on Sundays. They go to the gym and the park. They go to the gym and the park. She eats vegetables, but not meat and eggs. She eats vegetables, yes. She doesn't eat meat. She doesn't eat eggs. She eats vegetables, but she doesn't eat meat and eggs. Please buy eggs, milk, and coffee. She needs eggs, cheese, and milk, but not yogurt. She needs eggs, cheese, and milk, but not yogurt. We can eat dairy, but not meat. We eat dairy, but not meat. I like to shop, to read, and to walk, but I don't like to clean the house. I like to shop, to read, and to walk, but I don't like to clean the house. We have a lot of milk and cheese. We have milk, we have cheese, but we need meat and eggs. Remember the word need means do not have. The word need is not negative, but it means negative. So I use but. We have a lot of milk and cheese, but we need meat and eggs. We have milk and cheese. We don't have meat and eggs. Correct the sentences. Write the correct sentence in your notebook. Okay, you're going to need to stop the video to write. So stop the video and correct the sentences. There are problems in the sentence. Fix them. <laughs> correct the sentences and stop the video to write.
Here are the correct sentences. Stop the video and check your work. Stop the video. And some more practice. Choose the correct word. Write the sentence in your notebook. So I'm going to show you three sentences. Stop the video and write. 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 This is a lot of writing. It's good practice. <laughs> Stop the video and write. Stop the video and write. Maybe it's too much writing. Then please do 10 questions. Okay, you do not need to do them all. Here are the answers. Stop the video and check your work. And here are the same sentences with the correct word, we're going to practice reading. So I read, you repeat. Okay. Do you like cake or cookies? I walk to the supermarket, but don't like it. She reads or watches TV every evening. I cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom. Read in the bedroom or the living room but not the kitchen. Read in the bedroom or the living room, but not the kitchen. Do you drink coffee or tea? Does he like meat or vegetables? Can she speak English and Chinese? Do you shop at Walmart or Costco? Do you shop at Walmart or Costco? Here is $5. Buy oranges or apples. We need fruit vegetables, and meat. She needs milk and eggs, but not cheese.
do the laundry, but don't clean the house. Wash the car and do the laundry. Does she wear a blue jacket or a red jacket? Does she wear a blue jacket or a red jacket? We're almost finished. <laughs> I need a job and some money, but I don't need a car. I need a job and some money, but I don't need a car. I like dogs, but I don't like cats. I have been to England and France, but not Africa. I have been to England and France, but not Africa. Ah. Wow. That was a long lesson. Uh, thank you for staying with me for the long lesson on uh, conjunctions and, but, or. Okay, use the video to practice speaking. Uh, when you read the sentences and speak, you are practicing the fluency of English. Your English will come out faster and faster the more you speak. So it's really good speaking practice in addition to learning more about the English language. We're finished for today. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are. I'll see you next time for more English practice for level one. And by the way, all the pictures in my videos are taken from Pixabay. They're free for use, just so everyone knows not breaking the rules. Okay, we'll see you next time for more English practice. Bye.